Sorry, I sort of uh, froze there. Okay, so I have another color. Yeah, I know. Um, can you hear I me? Noticed. Yes. Great. Yes, I can hear you. How are you, sir? And then, yeah, I'm looking at you on my television screen as well. So you are this no longer frozen. frozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not frozen now. Well, I'm back now. Again, am, uh, I'm back now. Not frozen like you. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Yes, this, is, this is your brother, Anthony, from uh, Austin, Texas. Anthony from Austin. Yes. You know something about uh, Texans, right? Is that you are going to hear Austin mm -hmm. and then uh, Houston. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, yes. uh, if people who are not familiar, they will think you are actually saying the same thing. No, you are talking about two big no. places, two big cities. Two big cities. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, yes, sir. As a matter of fact, Austin is the capital of Texas. Texas. But a really? lot of people don't know. People. Yes, people used to people think that uh, Houston is the capital of Texas, but it is not. So what makes it, it is not popular then? Is it more busier, bigger? No, it, it's just like let us use our country Nigeria as an example. Yeah. Everywhere you go, if you talk about Nigeria, yeah, most people that know about Nigeria knows Lagos. They don't know Abuja. Mm -hmm. But Abuja is the capital of Nigeria. That's so, right, okay. if you talk about the, the economic nerve center of Texas, that should be Houston. But the, right. the seat of power is Austin. Right. It's like uh, talking about yes. Scotland too, right? A lot of people hear about yes. Glasgow, Glasgow, Glasgow. Yeah, Exactly. Or Edinburgh exactly. is the capital yes. of Scotland. It's the, cap the seat of authority. God bless you. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, New, York is more, New York is more popular than Washington, D.C. We all know that. I know. I mean, why Washington yeah. is the seat of power? God bless you. So and anyway, let me quickly... It is happening. Times Square and all of that. New York places. is where it is happening. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Anthony. First of all, uh, first of all, let me let me appreciate you one more time, as we always do. Thank you so much for you. for the, the Temple of Truth. And then let me use the opportunity to ask you, yes, how is the, the uh, men's uh, Temple of Truth, how is it coming along? You and I discussed it last time. And I told you that you told me about the place you are trying to, to acquire for the main temple of truth, which I told you that the moment it's starting, I will be one of your first. And I donors. said, the moment That's I found true. it, uh, you will be one of yeah. those to hear it first. Okay. I'll Perfect. tell you what I'm doing. Perfect. Okay? The plan is that uh, normally I need to get a space, a place where I could actually have people sit with me like this as I'm doing my program. No distraction or nothing. Yeah, on the round table, correct. Yes, like a round table convo, you know. You could even fly in from Austin. Like, you're going to Nigeria. You know, I'll say, why don't you stop in uh, yes. in Glasgow for yes. a day? Sure, you know? sure, sure. My, my platform could mm -hmm. put you in a very nice hotel overnight. So let's have a chat before you continue the journey tomorrow. That's my idea, Fantastic. right? Fantastic. It's currently what even I'm working before. on it, you know? So the moment I get even, this even signal, be uh, I'm going to announce mm -hmm. it here. Yeah, sir. And I'll make it happen. Perfect. I am perfect. Even even before that happens, yes. if any time I'm going to Nigeria and I have to stop in the UK, be rest assured you're going to oh, see me. We can have a lunch or dinner, and we can go over a lot of a lot of things. I that would love be, that. That see, would be my. I have see. Yeah. I've had people who came from uh, the US. I have a friend who okay. flew from the US, right? And then uh, yes. he came down here and he spent about a week here. Okay, and I have to promise you this, right? is uh, one of mm -hmm. those, uh, you know, uh, memorable moments I've had with uh, my friends that I only met uh, through this platform. It's such an amazing oh, yeah. yeah. So I would love to yeah. see you. I promise. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Okay. Let me quickly, okay. I have already into my, into my time. On, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are doing just... acquaintances. You get that? Like, in absolutely. Like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, now let's deal with, let's, let's talk about today's deal, please. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me quickly um, talk about the incidents that happened in Kaduna, and Sorry. you know the the truth. The truth of the matter is that these things are deliberate. The people know what they are doing. They do all these shenanigans that is going on in Nigeria. Nobody will tell you that this was a mistake. 
they so, can lie all they want hmm. but this is intentional is. and if we can assuming there's anybody that can advise people from that community do not abandon that community because the excess of this bomb they mm -hmm. dropped is to keep get people to run away from that community. Yes, so Maybe right. there's something that I found under their soil that they want to go and explore. Why are you so, so I wish clever? Why are you so 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 clever like this in your thought? And I just feel like uh, you are talking in my brain. I feel like I'm the one talking, right? But that voice is just in my yes. brain. Okay. Like I how bet could you, you be so clever? Go on. Well, you see, we have we we are we are Nigerians. We have seen this happen, yeah. and we know that. These people, these blood suckers, prefer their personal pockets more than the life of the citizens. And nobody will tell you, Intel is something that you don't just make this kind of bloody mistake. No. Intel will tell you that they could send people to go and solve. They, look, they can, intelligence is not that horrible that you would throw a bomb in the mix of this kind of people and you think that it was through intelligence report and that it was a mistake. It, was a mistake. it is no mistake. No. It is intentional. It is. They just want to scare people out of that community. And in a few mm. uh, weeks and months to come, is they that move, you see their the, 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 Chinese the, Chinese people sneaking, mm. the Chinese people sneaking in there under the protection of our law enforcement agents and all that, but I pray that there will be some people from that community that probably are listening into this your program mm -hmm. to put their eye on ground or possibly just stay their ground and say they are not running even after all so many people that would have died. Mm -hmm. But you know, fear is one thing that yeah. you really can't be too sure about. Mm -hmm. So let's, that is my thought. That is that a very so great I, info you just I, dropped there. A lot of people who are listening to you right now possibly just sat in front beat. of their TV doing like this. Hmm. Hmm. That's true. I don't I don't believe one bit that that was a mistake. It wasn't. And again, whatever it was, can you imagine a situation where a president of a country, the armed forces, the, 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 your own uh, security agents, this happened with whether it is a mistake or deliberate, and you are somewhere in a country where that we do not even need to be there in reality. Mm -hmm. This is a man that said during the campaign that if they want us to be part of a climate change discussion, that they have to pay us for it mm -hmm. because it is not what we are even interested in. Because what 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 uh, what what do we emit in our country that pollutes the climate? Can and this is the person who said yes. the one, hmm. yes, compared to this. What this is somebody who said that a climate change is like uh, a rat, uh, no, 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 it's a poisoned rat. I'm sorry, it's a rat. Uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, it's a, it's a church rat, it's right? a poisoned holy communion, yes, a church it's rat, a poisoned 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 which today we don't even know what that means. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me quickly right. touch on that. Mm -hmm. Let me quickly touch on that uh, on on the the cop, uh, co, uh, the cop, the cop 28. 28. Okay, go on. See, this man knows that he did not win election. This man knows how unpopular he is. What he's doing is a publicity stunt. That crowd you see is to portray acceptance of his own people from his country. Hmm. He wants to give a picture that my people loves me. You know, you remember Idi Amin, Idi Amin of Uganda, mm. how he talk about everybody loves me. Everybody. I, my people want me. This is what this this illegitimate president is trying to portray to the world. And he will do it at do any it. cost. And he will do it at any cost. And I can bet you, if Nigerians don't rise up. Mm -hmm. And this man is even able to stay for the next four years. Mm -hmm. This administration will have nothing to offer Nigerians other than to begin to do everything possible on the publicity aspect to keep themselves relevant. Isn't it obvious? And mm -hmm. It is obvious. It is completely obvious. So for me, let nobody think. And of course, whether he's bringing one million people to the trick, they will all go because they are looking for the ice tackles. Hmm. They are looking for the allowances. You know that is all they are interested in. You know, so the truth of the matter is that we are in a deep hole. And while well, the earlier we start 
digging out ourselves out of this hole the better so i will also want to quickly suggest yes, that you know like you are my own go <laughs> the other people can have other GOs that they want to have is I don't yes. have any problem with anybody who want to worship in any temple of their choice. It is their choice. But mm -hmm. in in this temple, I am also making another quick suggestion. Please listen, yes, uh, my even general. Mm -hmm. This temple must have also pastors, <laughs> and I'm not talking about pastors that will come to the pulpit to preach. Not that one. I'm talking about about pastors that can have. I just call them the, the, back, the truth back machines. We need truth. Yes. Marchant that will stay yes. truthful in their calling. You can call them. So if we call, call you them. to come and be one of us, uh, and we say you are a truth marchant or a pastor or whatever we, you want to call yourself, right? Let's even say a truth marchant. Yes. It's a calling. Yes. You must stay on the path of truth. Sounds good. Anthony, sure. go on. And simple. This will be something I think will have to be on the back channel. It doesn't even have to. You can bring people to the studio by the time the main temple is ready. Yeah, or, ready. Uh, yeah. By the special grace of uh, God, we have the, so the main uh, temple. You can bring people there. Yes. But this set of people I'm talking about should be your backroom guys. You, call, you can call them your think tanks mm -hmm. that can discuss things at the back channel. That's These right. people, you have, you know your people. Yes, and you begin to filter your people gradually. Whether they are five, whether they are 10, whether they are 20, they are up to you. You can have a, a WhatsApp group with them that discusses critical things. Because there's a lot of things I as a person, I as a person want to discuss with you that I can't say I in this public forum. I get that. Now, and I'm, I'm sure I love, you, a lot I love of all your ideas. I, I'm not, I'm, me, I'm so, not gonna lie, right? And then so, uh, I can promise you this, right? That uh, majority of all these ideas, I always kind of put them down. You are just gonna see some, I mean, so many of them happening, and you will remember. Oh, I remember telling him he didn't even say he was gonna do it. Now he's doing what I told him. Just watch out. Okay. I will well, work on those. Fantastic. Things, uh, yeah. <laughs> I will. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so glad to have that. Thank and you, then Anthony. there is also, yes, I was also thinking because to message you sometimes, I know a lot of messages come. Which one can you I see? Which one will you not them. see? So yeah. I know there is, a, there is a group that has a letter that I would want you to see. And this letter, this is a, a group that came up with ideas that are, to me, are very solid. Because, you know, our we, in our country, we quickly get swallowed by a, events that are coming. Because this APC government from 2015 to today, mm -hmm. no matter how bad an incident is, the one that will be worse, worse than that one that happened yesterday will happen tomorrow. Still will happen. And before you know it, we would have moved on from the event of yesterday. Okay. And we're talking about the event of today. And we're thinking as bad as we think that the event of today is, God forbid, I'm not wishing that on my country or anybody. Mm -hmm. Something will happen three, four days after that will forget the event of today. I know. The truth of the matter is that the person who is parading himself as a new president today mm -hmm. is an illegitimate president. And is a threat we, to our own liberty. It is a threat to our national, the national, national security. Of free so this letter, mm -hmm. yeah, this letter that is prepared is to say we are seeking to the fact that Yes, Supreme Court has ruled, but Supreme Court is, the last, is not the last. The people are the last voice that determines who rules them. That's right. Dati Baba Ahmed said that. This man is illegitimate. One, because his presidency violates the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You it's cannot forge mm -hmm. and become a president. You cannot be indicted in a criminal case mm -hmm. and you become a president. No. So it is a voice that we want to be amplified. And I'm a part of this group. And I'm saying that I would want you to read that letter if you think it's something that, because we want a situation see, where see, this can I go have, viral. Let me tell you my own personality, Anthony, right? Yes. See, yes. anybody yes. or any group, right, that is uh, mm -hmm. working, okay, to yes. ensure yes. that the uh, current uh, constituted establishment in Nigeria which mm -hmm. I have done so many analyses and exposed a lot about any group, as long as it is non-violent, like publicly bragging of, you know, I don't want that. Totally non-violent. No, no, hang on. Totally I just want to tell you me. I want to tell you me now, okay? For me, yes. every of such group, 
anybody will want mm -hmm. to drag Nigeria criminal system and the entire even if you are like uh, working to bring and break and destroy the entire establishment you will be my friend okay great. we can discuss the so, terms and the, what have you when they are destroyed so that's why yes. i said on my egun's diary political when you see everyone i am doing everything to make everybody understand that we all have common enemy one single one and it doesn't matter who is in charge of that uh, system whether it's a Igbo man or a Usa man a christian or a muslim it doesn't matter that system has to brilliant be it's only when this that so system they, is destroyed they, that will stop producing these criminals. So if you are up for exactly. it, I'm your friend. So don't don't yes. don't ever it's doubt it. that if you are interested, Mayegun. As long it, as you are not openly how? advocating for violence, right? No, 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 so no, no. This you are my friend. To, this is this is peaceful. And I'm interested. This is peaceful resistance, and it starts with even calling out our leaders. OB, Obas, and everybody. This is no longer is non-political. Mm -hmm. Totally non-political. And the equation is, are we moving on? Are we as a nation, as a people, accepting that our constitution has been trashed, that this person will remain as the president, where we know that Nothing everything from the tax, from the perjury, from the dual nationality, Supreme Court did not answer any of those questions, including... 25%, and that's why they have not given P2B and the Labour Party the true, certified true copy of that judgment. Because you know they, they cannot it's true. Do you know, do you, yeah. know, do you know that, Anthony? I'm glad you mentioned that. Yes, Sorry sir. to cut you short, sir. Okay. Like you mentioned, okay. and I wanted to for our listeners to also probably know this that the Supreme Court of Nigeria did not give judgment on Peter B versus INEC versus Tinumbu versus Shetima case up to this day correct they gave a judgment correct. to article the consumer could be used the yes. judgment as well meanwhile the obese and, 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 and case is mm -hmm. completely different from atifku's right but to correct. today eh, correct. the supreme court of nigeria did not give judgment in ob and i will tell you case. i will tell you why please continue. and i will tell our mm -hmm. i will tell our listener why yes please those judges don't want to own own any judgment in that direction because anything they said Hmm. One anything with the pass a judgment there is either they do the right thing, could you take this man out of office, or they will indict themselves for something they would not want to put their fingerprint on. Hmm. They don't want to own it. They don't want to own that judgment. And I bet you, if we don't force them to own it, few years down the line, this government might win an election somewhere and something will happen that they will reverse themselves on this judgment day. Again. They have just given. So the thing is that they have not passed judgment on it. So you cannot even claim, you and I, or any other person listening, cannot claim that the Supreme Court have ruled that 25% in Abuja is not necessary. They didn't you and I can't. About, exactly. They just, they just, oh amen. Oh amen. They, yes, they didn't. And they did not also rule that forging certificate is illegal. Mm -hmm. They did not rule that. Somebody having dual nationality. If your passport expired, doesn't mean your certificate have expired. No, is is a, a big fat lie. They know it. They don't want to own it, and we are all moving on. So this group is saying we are not moving. On. You haven't ruled on it. Rule on it if you if you have the gut. Well, rule on you it. have the gut. And rule if you it don't rule on it, forgery is fine. If, Forfeiture is fine. Yes. all these things are yes. fine. Then we can move on. And if you don't rule on it. Then the person who is sitting there as a president is illegitimate. It is easy and has to go. I know, Anthony. So we look forward to that. that is, okay. uh, let me stop here. Mm. On this number, I will forward you that letter, and yes. I hope you I'm see it. That's the problem. That the program because when uh, I'm expecting okay. the message, right? I always do go back to okay. check and see if I will see the message. Okay, please. Doctor Damages has it. been trying to reach me for a while now. I even have a friend who contacted okay. a message to me about uh, what that is all about. But guess what? I have okay. not been able to, to to meet up somehow. Somehow I missed the message in there. This is so I think we have to employ we have to we have to employ a PA for you. <laughs> we need to employ you a need PA. To see my, you need to see you need to see my screen, Anthony. Right? I've got I've got uh see I've got fifty five thousand missed calls. I understand that there are people who call me like fifty hey, times, hundred times, and they won't get in. Okay? I know. But look at I this. Know. I've, I've got I see All I have right. here ninety two thousand unread messages. But how That's am why I you need a PA. I can't read. If I'm this. in Scotland, I'll be your PA. Eh? 
If I were to be in Scotland, I would just volunteer for free to be your PA to I go through this so, so and give you, you give you the that. ones that are relevant. Know. You, you know, so no. you only need the relevant ones. So my just you know why is getting on great stuff. Stuff. See, Anthony, I'm missing, you out, are missing great out on great stuff. Inside that messages. Absolutely, but I just couldn't I can tell you that. Because if everyone, yes. if everybody sees me, how I kind of put my programs together. You see this program that we come to do for three hours, right? I spend more mm -hmm. than uh, what do you call it, more than uh, fifteen hours putting that together. A Obviously. Whole day. Obviously. Sometimes yes. before I go to bed, right, I'll begin to pick things yes. I want to say tomorrow, right from this evening Please. until I sleep off. I know. So it's then, not, not I think they're reading the messages to them. People may not understand. Mm. I it's, feel bad. It's, it's that like missing uh, out. Twenty-four but, hours. Twenty-four hours will not be enough for you. Anyways, just get know it. that. I'm Go going to get this either on Facebook. I will try to push it anyway. How for you to read this later and understand and the concept behind it? Too. Thank you so much. All right, I appreciate you. you. Let me give other people the chance to serve to, to speak. It's been a God pleasure. bless you. It has been a pleasure. Right. It's great to hear from you again. Yes, Very important that I give yes, you a call. Okay, so thank you. Okay, Absolutely. You have a good one, sir. Thank you, sir. That's a wonderful you... man uh, over there, Anthony, uh, my own friend uh, from uh, Austin. He still called me Gio instead of OG. I hope, uh, you know, charm will be different. Are you there? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, well, this evening. I'm fine. I'm fine thank you. And great show as usual. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, brethren, Lady Charm, please. Go on. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to, you know, the previous caller, the, is it Anthony? Uh, that would be the previous before you, yeah, Anthony. Yes, yes, yes. He actually does. When you, when you know, I was saying yesterday, you should take the calls I because know, there was I something I wanted that. to speak to you, <laughs> to to comment on regarding not just um, what was going on in Britain, but also the bomb that was dropped in Kaduna. Right. Now to um, how I put, to confirm exactly what he was saying. Right, because I also thought there are two, two, two ways I was looking at it. It's either the bombing was intentional, just like the previous caller said, because they may have identified some resources on that land that they desire. Yes. That's one. Mm. And the only way to actually confirm that that is what is happening, if we go back, because we have actually identified all the so-called mistake, mistaken. Uh, bombing yeah, yeah, that, that uh, going on. Yeah, accidental uh, bombing. So-called accidental bombings that have been them. going on. Mm. Sixteen of them uh, over the past decade, right? That's right? Now, if we want to confirm exactly what Anthony is saying, we need oh, to go on, back to on. all Charm, Just for us to make sure that uh, yeah. for our listeners to know fact from wrong, okay? You see, this yeah. uh, sixteen bomb. I mean, sixteen air uh, bombing, right? They were actually put yeah. back to just about two years, starting from 2000. I'm sorry, oh. just about six years, starting from 2017. That was when they started okay. documenting this. Um, the bombing, bombing, right? Mm -hmm. The so called the accidental fact. bombing. Sure, go on. Okay, it's so now what we will need to do to confirm exactly the previous callers and even to my own um, suspicions as well is to find out exactly what happened to those, those locations after the bombing. Now, if we're able to confirm that there are minerals being mined in those places and that there's stuff going on there, then we can know for a fact that this is not an this was not a mistake. This was intentional in order to uh, mine their resources without asking them or maybe committing uh, getting some commitment for for them. Right yes. now, the second way you can also look at this bombing is that we have some bad faith actors in the Air Force, it has been maybe infiltrated by uh, Boko Haramists or whatever. Now, because if they say that they're fighting, if they say that they're fighting or that they thought that the terrorists were there and that was the reason why they were bombing, then maybe somebody doesn't want them to be bombed. So in, in, in order to say, okay, we're, we're gonna do, you know, because, you know, there's an order given that we should bomb such and such, we will just give them wrong locations and they will bomb innocent people, hmm. right? So that is another. It's also another, another perspective. Angle. Yes, now uh -uh. that is another angle that you hmm. can you can consider because you know we we know that the so-called terrorists are being funded by the politicians themselves. They utilize them for their own 
uh, selfish interests. That's right. Now, so if they went ahead and actually gave them the right coordinates to where those people are, that would be loss of resources for them. And in order to mitigate that, they bomb just any random place, you know, without thinking about the consequences, which is, of course, the loss of lives that we've seen. Mm. So there, there are two dimensions, there are two ways you can look at it. Mineral resources or bad state actors who know exactly what they're doing and have been instructed like to do like so. Those who have already compromised the chain of uh, intelligence, uh, passing, you know, exactly. passing intelligence and all that. Who could have... Uh, Anything is possible in a corrupt system. That's what we are all saying, Absolutely. isn't it? Yeah, anything is possible in a corrupt system. So these are these are two ways. And but in order to the other the other argument Anthony was making or the other um, opinion he was giving, mm -hmm. like you said, it's a corrupt society. These things can happen. But if we want to confirm that that's what's actually going on, we have to go back to the ones that have been born before. before. Mm. Exactly to find out exactly what's the outcome. Of the people living of, of that land to find out whether or not it's being mined or if the people have are, are still thriving as a community in those places right I anyway that's that. for that's, that's one very 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 big observation that you kind of uh, pointed yeah. out enough that even everyone who's seated there right now are interested i mean it's interested in you know what let's go check what happened exactly. to those places it's, they it's, made those mistakes are people still living there? Exactly. Or they have chased them to IDP there? camps after the camera was Can off? you even mm -hmm. exactly exactly? Can you even access those places? Because Can we you know even access those anything? places, by the way? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Would they even let people near there? Because when people are aware that oh, actually they're actually mining um, resources from there, hmm. then you know, obviously, I mean, in the duty, we have 17, 16, like you said. Yes. If 10 out of 10 out of the 16, they're all being <laughs> <laughs> uh, like they are now ghost places, there. like ghost towns, and we right? realize that uh, they are now no longer accessible. Then that's a uh, theory. Then we know that they're proven there. right. Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. Anyway, that's I think regarding I'm the bombing. I'm gonna go look around. <laughs> and, you know one thing, right? One thing everybody can count on is that if I find something, I'm gonna say something. You know that. Uh, I'll be. We'll, we'll be waiting. You Great. know, we'll be so you just give me uh, <laughs> a sort of a lead. I'm going to go look around, yeah. okay, and see what happens no. to these places because we have names of those places. We do. Exactly. Exactly. Now, with regards to what everybody has been talking about, and I 100% agree with you. I know a lot of people calling us, oh, yeah, giving up on a country like Nigeria, da, 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 da. The truth is that you can never give up. <laughs> Anybody who doesn't learn from history is bound to make the same mistakes. Mm. They did it to, the Germans did it to the Jews. Okay, the Nazis did it to the Jews. They found a reason to expel them from their country. That's all right. They so let us not ask hmm. you, like they cannot expel us. I think you're in you are in the UK, so you know about the I, I've forgotten what they could they call the you know the I don't know whether they're West Indians or Jamaicans that came to the country the Jamaicans and helped and help build the roads and trains, tracks, and I don't know. No, and then, did, I'll tell you, right? They came, uh, I think yeah. they call it, uh, uh, what's it called again? Something rush, oh my. Anyway, they came, wind rush, among yes. others, the wind right? Rush, the yeah, wind something rush, rush. Wind I don't know, I don't think it's gold rush, it's something rush anyway, right? No, no, it's wind rush. Oh, it's wind, wind rush, rush. Wind bless rush. you. Now, yeah. they came here as uh, workers, and they were promised, yeah. like these two, ah, man, in 50s, so, that they should come and yes. build all the you see all of all those uh, underground trains exactly exactly they the, build the them they like work <laughs> like for real and they made them believe that they are british too exactly when they told and this, them like to said, leave 40 years after this was, hmm. this was 1950s so uh -huh. when they this was in the 1950s they did that yes. and when they did what they did asking them to leave them and their generation that came after them this we are talking about generations that were born here. Oh. This one, they that didn't bring born. them. Oh. They were born here. They didn't bring them. The ones that were born they there, them to right? Go. Mm -hmm. They told them to go. That's and then right. it became an issue because I mean, the optics were wrong. You people yes. asked these people to come in here. Yes. And that was the only reason why this stopped. But the point I'm trying to make is that we can't be more Igbo than the Oyibo people. No. The, we cannot know the English more than them. They will write something into the law and ask us to leave or yes. minimize minimize our um, how i put it our impact on that their society that's right you understand so if we act like you know we've escaped oh my gosh we've escaped mm -hmm. then we're really fooling ourselves because this will can do anything that they want to do yeah, we will right. only be successful as a strong continent as a strong people that they know that they can't 
how like they can't treat our off anyhow as it is right now they can do anything they, they want can. to do mm -hmm. because we are we are basically at their mercy mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. you know I, I think just to buttress the point that you made if there's and i say this if there's anything anyone is organizing please Put it out there so that we can all if it's me. <laughs> of you. Yes. So, so child, you are you are also like uh, others who say, you know, some people will be like, Baba, anywhere they are dragging Nigeria. If you see some people that have make that have given up on Nigeria completely, their own way is this. See, anywhere where they drag Nigeria, if I they sleep, please wake me. I have to be there. Yes. I have to I want to go there. I have and to. In fact, so you are also ready for the violence. If, oh yes, yes, we are ready for that violence. If, Tinubu is coming to, if, if we know anyone that is coming to, whether it's New York or wherever, you know, and you go, let's organize and go. Because we know. do need that, Charm, you do. You yeah, know, we need to. We need, we need groups who, have, who are consistent, okay? We don't want chances. Those who are going to use the no. next four years to build career, pretending they are on our side. Meanwhile, they are only looking no, no, for no, no, a place no, 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 no. on the table. So a lot of us have I mean, seen I mean, enough, but when we see your genuity and consistency, I think we we all need it now. We do. We, we all do. We all we all need that, uh, you know. And um, and I don't think there's really because what else can we say about the security in the country? Hmm. We can talk you know, for days about to, security. What, what, how, we, how are you going to convince us that we are wrong? Eh? You know, when uh, indeed so, the failure is staring all of us on the face, so I get that exactly. Mm. The failure is staring us all of us in the face. The country is practically collapsing. Procter and Gamble, like you said, leaving the country, manufacturing going out of the window, no production, no nothing, and like you said, leaving the people in the at the uh, you know the uh, how I put it of the yeah, of the, the bringing of, all uh, adulterated uh, adulterated adulterated yeah. Jews or or things that are not up to standard, mm -hmm. right? I know there's an opportunity there, but the country is not in the play, in the in, a, in the right situation to take advantage of those opportunities because you say, if the country was a manufacturing country, you say, okay, maybe other small industries will rise up mm -hmm. in place of Procter and Gamble, but we don't have the we, we don't have the infrastructure, no. we don't even have the you know the resources or the the, the money even at this point in time. We do have the resources like, right before our very eyes. They are they are dispersing the resources on frivolities while the Listen, main sectors you know, are they continue own, to suffer. So where's the hope coming from? There's right? no hope coming from anywhere. Mm -hmm. This this is a criminal government, right? And even if there's any intention now, in, if there if there's any um, intent to do the right thing, because it is a bloated government filled with criminals, mm -hmm. they cannot achieve anything. No. There's there's not even if Tinubu dreams that hopes that he can do something, he can't. He can't because he is he has a part a bloated government filled with criminals who are whose only motive and intention is to steal and you know leave the people impoverished you know you know so yeah. there's no and again we actually also need to be called and just, uh, just not we should just not be looking at our politicians we should be calling out also the western governments as well because they're not being very helpful you know they're not being very helpful with regards to this um with, with regards to our own democracy so-called democracy that they can, they want to promote mm -hmm. right you can't have the German chancellor coming to Nigeria every now and then. We need to be asking him, what are you doing with this criminal? The German, the Nigerians who are Germans and they're in there. What are you doing? You need to be asking your other shoes. What are you doing in Nigeria with this criminal, Tunibue, confirmed drug addict? Mm -hmm. You know? Like you're going so to there, there's, us there's if you have a criminal that we record that we're once a drug dealer. If I put it in my visa application that I'm a drug dealer in Nigeria, exactly. and I'm Will you give me that the US, you're never going to let me. If I'm a drug dealer or a money launderer from Nigeria, you will never go. You're not going to let me come into the UK, right? Listen, and uh, you are now dear. you are now profiling us for the criminality of these drugs, and you of have another person. Well, hmm? Exactly, you are profiling Nigerians for the for the criminality for the of their of leader. Mm -hmm. But but meanwhile, you are not doing anything about him. How does that make any kind of sense? You know. Anyway, I'm sure there are other people who want to call in. And I'm talk. just There's going to so take just one single one you know? more. And Charm, it's been yeah. a pleasure. As usual, eh? Thanks so much. Thank you, Marigo. You have a good one. Man. So that's uh, uh, Charm. I have one more last caller, even though my time is really up, but I bet a lot of you will miss yesterday time to really express yourselves. I uh, would love to do that tonight, but this is my last caller. And it happens to be the prince. The prince. Prince Jejeman. Are you still there? 
Okay. I think uh, I must... Uh, oh, hang on. I thought I actually got uh, you. Why yeah. didn't? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, sure. The prince. Yes. Hello, my good general. How are you? Baba? Baba, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Are you? Well, I'm here. As, at least. You know, anytime we will not see my face like that, when, uh, you know, it's just to tell you that I'm still alive. <laughs> So yeah, I'm yeah so, and I thank God for that. So how are you too, the prince? I'm fine. I'm fine, Baba. Nothing to you. Well done. Bless you. Thank you. Please. Yeah. Th thank you. You are representing millions and millions of people. Oh. Thank you. And we we, re we really appreciate you. You understand? Thank you very e much. E mm -hmm. Yeah. Baba, I want to throw mat, uh, shook mat for this um uh, soldiers will go kill um, Nigerians. To to start with, I think uh, this uh, is was in Kaduna that this uh, happened. At yes, so Kaduna, it happened in Kaduna. To Dunbiri. Is this Southern Kaduna or Northern Kaduna? Where did it happen? It is uh, in the you know yeah, it's right, actually yeah. in the Northern Kaduna part. Yes, that's Northern that's, Kaduna. that's one reason why he pained them because he was celebrating the birth of uh, Prophet Muhammad. Remember. Okay. When they dropped the bomb okay. on them, not once, so twice. Oh. They did it once. Wow. They came back again, drop another one. But they said it's a mistake. And right now, they believe that Tetinumbu is killing them. Okay? <clears throat> because it happened in northern uh, Kaduna. The prince. My, my, my good general, yes, you see, they say if something happened once, happened twice, and happened three times, it's no longer a mistake. It is no longer a mistake. Hmm. You understand? Now it has we are counting. That's what they say. They say if uh, it happens first, if it happens first time, it may be a mistake. If mm -hmm. it happens the second time, eh, it is not a mistake. It is intentional. Now, when it happens, mm -hmm. when it happens the third time, now it becomes a pattern. Okay, it's no longer like yes, intentional that. alone. Okay, it's no longer a mistake. It's no longer intentional. It is now a pattern, and that's what we mm -hmm. have in Thank our Thank you. Mm -hmm. And now we are counting 16, 16 times. That's the official one, no? They eh? didn't count all the bombings oh. in uh, Obigbo. The bombings in uh, Olu, Osu. No. Those are the ones me Biaf I remember, sir. But yeah, 16. Biaf Biafra land, oh, they they count them. It's not, that one will be official, okay. Mm -hmm. That one, uh, na righteousness. You know? You know for Nigeria. Hmm. Uh, na righteousness. So bomb uh, Biafra. Uh, it has become part of the... Uh, Righteousness, yeah. you Imagine know, bombing people inside their home, old people, eh? vulnerable people. <coughs> you bomb them inside their home. You said you are looking for uh, IPOB, you are looking for ESN. Of course, you are not looking for them, but they will record it as a wrong <laughs> bombing because it happened in the my, East. please, please. My, my ego, Nigeria is a crime scene, absolutely. You know, the, the good thing about it now is that the whole world. Is officially known to them that Nigeria is a crime scene. Mm. The president is irreparable damages, a Supreme Court president, and we also have a governor who is also irreparable damages, mm. a Supreme Court governor in Imo State. You understand? So it's a pattern. You see, this crime is a pattern. My ego, you see, uh, 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 greet our sister Shan. We just finished talking. Mm -hmm. Lady Charm. You know, Charming she Charming. always yeah, she always contribute positively. She, she said so. something eh, that uh, they need to investigate yes. and investigate. You see, I want to tell my sister in this matter that they say a far fire catch a far. Hmm. You know, you they ask of him be a beer. You understand? Hmm. The first thing where the fire go catch, no be a beer. That it be a beer. You see, my good general, the prince. have any of our journalists in Nigeria asked question one day, what are the Boko Haram doing inside Nigerian armed forces, Nigerian army, navy, air force, customs? Because, of, what because are they, they doing? have repented and they have been told never to ask that question, unfortunately. You see, so how can they a terrorist eh, be the one that is uh, um, uh, providing security and you don't 
you will not uh, see a uh, uh, mistaken bombing every day. You take uh, you take a yeah? uh, cat, pussy cat. You they take a guy there, fried meat. You can't come the following day, they cry, say all the meat are gone. Baba, you the wine or see me. Eh, you put a uh, better terrorist inside the army. Come the talk, say information they leak. Baba, you the joke in it. I'm just asking my you a question, Prince. Go on. My ego, Baba, you mm. see, this is the reason why we are ready to die to get our Biafra. Mm. We are ready. Who is ready to die to protect Nigeria? Nobody. Baba, nobody. Oh, more no light to us. Everybody oh. get their own Ashebi and they go shop for much of Brokoto. Hmm. You know, they are waiting for the next party. The day the date will come. We hmm. are not waiting for the next party. Our own party is Biafra in this matter. Hmm. My good general. Eh? Our own party is Biafra. Without because in Nigeria, words. Nigeria as it is, is hopeless and useless. And helpless. Are you getting me? A hopeless and useless and irreparable president and irreparable damages of a nation. How mm. can we move forward in this? Yeah? No, 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 you can't. We can't. We can't. We just have to like any stagnant. progressive mind, any progressive society can never, never survive inside this uh, state of terrorism, state of insecurity. No, Nigerian government are the one that created Boko Haram. They killed their leader. And these guys went underground. The next thing, they reinforced, came back with the bomb and AK-47. Today, they are holding it now in the canoe. Tomorrow, if another group came up and said, this is, a, 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 I want to take it a, a by force, then mm. they will not say insecurity. They are the one creating insecurity everywhere. I mean, injustice Making, will create insecurity anyway. So, yeah, welcome to the party. My, my brother, you see, Japa will not solve the pro this problem, as you said are yesterday. You sure? Now that we are recommending, uh, uh, we are see we are now sort of a prescribing uh, shigementin to everybody. You sure she she you know, go? Okay, I'll deal with you. No, Japa, you see why I said Japa oh, will not Jack solve the problem. Oh, I thought you said Shaka. Yeah. Because people they sing no, Shaka, I said Shaka right now. No, I said Japa. Okay. I said Japa. Mm, Japa will not save us. I'm with you. I'm telling you. Because what you said yesterday, you know, some mm. people never thought thought of it. Mm. When you were telling us that one day, one day, yes. you know, you know, when a church full, the next place you see is overflow. That's right. When a country now don't fool, where we say they know if you take care of their own citizens, any other extra, go, they go shift the person. All they, they need to do go. is just to call it something that everybody will agree is not good. And they will send you away. Uh -huh. Exactly. You know? So, Jakba is not even the solution. You know? As it is in Nigeria. You see, they are think, they think they are enjoying an asshole. Of. If a three rebel group just rise up, now nah, Nigeria is gone. Because we are, who, in Nigeria, we are so going to defend them. Their morale are down. All of them, most of them are finding their way, entering to go Ghana, anywhere that uh, they can breathe, a good breathe. Uh, breathe. Yeah. Hmm. Eh? You see, Mayegu, to know that Nigeria is a hellfire, just hmm. cross the border from Nigeria to Benin Republic or Cotonou. Hmm. Eh? Cross, where you cross the border, the breeze, the kind of air that will blow you. My ego, you will know that Nigeria is a hellfire. And when immediately you cross that border, enter Nigeria again, the kind of hot breeze that will blow you. <laughs> and the kind it will of remind you, say, we'll come back to hell again. We miss you. Hi, my ego. Hmm. They say the end of Africa will have money. If you have money and you are not comfortable, the money is useless. It is. I'm telling you, if you see, if you I've go, I've gone to Kotonou, gone to Togo. They don't have money like Nigeria, but look at them. They are living a comfortable life. Life. Mm. Their life, their light is steady. Their electricity is steady there. Yeah. They eat good food. Mm. They drink yes. they drink good water. They breathe good air. Yeah. You see, we are it, it is for us non the canoe, free non the canoe, and give us a date of referendum. Like, could they then continue to destroy the our the road too? 
let everybody decide if they still want to be part of this contraption or not. Don't stop stop no. thinking for us. Stop saying that uh, uh, Nigeria unity is non negotiable. Like, how could you even, how could they say that? It's, it's madness, nothing that is non negotiable, Baba. This one is madness. It's we'll madness and Akola. Mm -hmm. Akola will cure mad Akola. They mm -hmm. use Akola to cure, cure madness. Uh -huh. You understand? Uh -huh. Yes, Akola. Akola. That is what they use in curing madness. <laughs> Praise I'm Jehovah. telling you. Thank yeah, Baba. Ma, ma, wrap God up bless up now. It's over. I mean, it's uh, past God. midnight in Nigeria, I believe, right now. If you see some of them still oh. watching. Or well, at least that mm. one is even fair. People in India are already in uh, maybe around the 6 a.m. in the morning. Australians are already probably 7 a.m. in the morning. Majority of them yes, started so. watching in the midnight. So, Prince, mm. I'll give everybody. Ma, Tukano Mike. Yeah. Tukano Mike. Thank well done, you. Baba. You Bless too much. You. Respect. The Prince, you, Prince JJ Man, one of the veterans on Mayego's Diary Political, the Temple of Truth, and as your OG, eh, Overseer General. Copy that. Don't say general overseer. Overseer general. OG, MG. Eh? OG, MG. That sounds kind of like uh, your G. Anyway, thank you to every one of you who indeed, uh, you know, again spent your evening with me tonight. And if you joined us midway, please, you can really watch this from the start again, okay? And uh, if you really want to watch this again, probably on your spare time, that I are going to be available as premieres uh, tomorrow. And you can also watch the replay afterward as well. So thank you for all the support. I will see you some other time. Until then, eh? Please oh, stay safe and take it easy. And you have a wonderful evening. Good night.
My my Oh, my God, they're all only feet, one, eight, all. 